Thank you very much. Thank you very much for remaining <laughs> for this uh, almost last talk. So uh, I will talk about <laughs> <laughs> the risky multiplets of French curves. So let me start with the definition of the risky pairs. <coughs> uh, by the way, this is a joint work in progress. with uh, Michael Lerner from Byron. So, uh, the risky pairs, so let B uh, be a complex irreducible plane term and for simplicity we assume that B has only cusps and nodes uh, as possible singularities. <coughs> and we call we call the combinatorial of B, the triple, D and C, where D is the degree of B and is the number of nodes Yeah. 
if two things happen, the first one, the combinatorial data of B1 is the same as the combinatorial data of B2, Equisingular uh, deformation equivalent. So, meaning that they are not in the same kind of components of this. Uh, this model of space. So now some remark about this definition, which is, so, so to say, uh, not the more general definition that you can find about the risky pairs. So please pay attention. The first one we suppose that uh, there are only cusps and nodes, and uh, but in general you can can allow uh, works singularity. Okay, and uh, accordingly you have to change the definition of combinatorial data. Second, one can allow also to be reducible the curve and so as to take account of all the pieces. So. So these are about the first, uh, the first point of the definition. About the second point, you can require other condition about the pair. So this is the strongest one that maybe you can <coughs> call. You, you can find in literature the risky pair with the uh, same condition one, but condition two change like, uh, the, um, uh, for example, the fundamental group of the complement uh, are not isomorphic or so on. Okay, so. So uh, the risky is two points in different components of this model. In this, for, with this different effect. Yes. <laughs> so, but also, condition two might change in different places. So, uh, just, just to, to make sure that, that there is a, a different definition. So, the first example, example of the risky pair, uh, the risky pair is due to the risky in 1929, and we found two uh, constructed uh, two sextic one and two with six cusps, and uh, the first one looks like. And the six cast so this is B one. So the six casts lay on a comic, so the six cast on a comic. And in this case, it proved that the fundamental group of this is B1, of B2 minus B1 is the free product of Z3 times Z3. And then from another, <coughs> maybe like this, where the six cups are not on the conic. And in this case, the fundamental group of the complement is Z2 times Z3. Okay? So.
after that many people uh, constructed examples, different examples of the list of pairs. So let me recall some names, but there are much more, so I'm sorry if I don't cite one. Is having the six cusps line on a conic that happens for the whole component? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And this is what you want to work. There's a branch of this generic project that will like be computer. Yeah. The only for an external. So one can also so uh, other examples. I did to Atal, Atal, Dakir, Shimada, and many others. And uh, they introduce also a definition of a Zaristi multiplet. So a K tuple of uh, plane and now irreducible uh, curves from B1 to K is called a Zaristi multiplet. If bi bj is a Zariski pair for i different than j and for all i and j. And uh, so I can state now our main theorem. And our main theorem is uh, find many examples of the risky multiples, like a uh, huge amount of them. And this is a theorem. Then, and we say that there exists there exists a um, strictly positive sequence of positive integers for uh, this di with, well, to call it DK. DK. And such that for all positive real number epsilon and D equal DK, H, D is bigger or equal to D to the D to the 1 half plus epsilon, where, where HD is the maximum of the list mode. In other words, there exists So there are at least so many uh, distinct components of the modulized spaces. Well, the cast and the node depends only on the, okay, as we will see. Okay. So. I don't understand the sequence DK. You will understand. Okay. <laughs> you will understand. It, it means that not for all D. There will be jumps, big jumps. Okay. So, but you will you will see. 
I will definitely explain. So our first remark. So is there a better way to see how many components this space has? We have an idea maybe to, to say something about the lower bound, but not yet. So this is kind of the lower the best? No, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> you will, uh, I, will, I will say. So first remark, so Dekler found uh, even a, a better bound. Uh, so where better means means exponential, <coughs> but the singularity of the curves. Are worse. Than the one we have. Okay, so it's not only not in cast, but he allows an extra singular point to um, so he can find a better better bound. And then second remark is that uh, the strategy I would propose to prove this theorem was uh, uh, already implemented by Pulikov. So the strategy is similar. First, we found this after we started on the project, but it doesn't, uh, it does not have such a problem. So, now I will explain you the strategy of the proof, of which is, I can understand, I think, quite well. The strategy of the proof is the following. So we change totally point of view. Instead of looking at curves, we look at surfaces of general time. So let S be a minimum surface of general time. with canonical bundle L. And consider and consider a pluricanonical embedding in P to the N. And this yeah, minus one. And then consider a generic projection To be two and, cons good, five, and consider the composition. So F. So F is the ramified cover. Of P2. And it is known by a result of Liberto Flamini already quoted. My friend. So the pi is not a morphism. Hmm? The composition is a morphism, but the pi is not. Yeah, okay. But the uh, pi is not. Yeah. Um, it's a ramified cover of P2 sorry, with the branch curve B. Uh, which has uh, so observation number one by Chiliberto Lamini B as on cusp and not uh, as possible singularities. Is it really useful? Hmm? As it as we could be useful. 
Is it the use of the bill? Yes. Thanks. Sir. So, and two, uh, so we know that the generic projections are uh, <coughs> by are, uh, generic projections are parameterized by that's a risky open open set AES. Then the cross minus and plus one uh, such that uh, the variation of the point in a yes gives a family of curves in the same. So let me be a little bit slow, but this allows us to say, so to call, one can be more precise, but to call B the generic, a generic M branch canonical. curves with the same data and then we prove that this uh, that uh, this 2s produce that the risky pair and then we iterated this construction so this is the strategy let me be more precise Get it down is there any reason why you consider like general type shifts instead of like uh, well first because uh, uh, we know better the number of components of the modular space of time, as you will see. Okay. No, then you don't need. I mean, the only thing you need to apply to apply Chilibert uh, and Flamini is the immersion. So. Yeah. But you will see that we can control very well the topology of all these things. This is the. Francesco said. So as Francesco recalled, so if F1 fixes uh, to a positive integers Y and X, then there exists. Projective on course modular space M Y X, which parameterizes surfaces canonical models of surfaces of general time. General type S with k square S equal to y and uh, chi of S equal to x. So I will use x and y for some reason. So the strategy is the following. So first find S1 and S2 
such that D1 and D2 uh, have the same combinatorial data. And that, that they depend on, on k squared of s and k of s. Second, prove that if s1 and s2 are in different connected components. M k square chi, then B1 and B2 are in a risky pair. And third, find many examples. So this is the strategy. Okay? So instead of searching for curves, we search for many components of the modular space of the surface of the can we do that? Yes, <coughs> because there is a particular uh, class of surface of general type that allows us to do that, and these are surfaces isogenous to a bra. So this is the third part of the talk, so let me give the definition. They were introduced by the name. In 2000. So a surface S is said to be exogenous at the part two. You need the probability is one is two are in different connected components of M K square chi with different fundamental group, I think. Wait. No. Yes, but uh, don't exploit <laughs> the result. So up to now, I, don't, I didn't say what we are looking for. But yes, in the end, it will be like this. Because in principle, I mean, my question is, in principle, it's possible that you have a no, no, different but, component with the same fundamental uh, group. Yes. Mm. So... In this case, so you have yeah, yeah, yeah. words. But first, I have to find this two. Okay. And then I have to prove this. And then, okay. So, I'm not saying it's the general. Okay, okay. But I think what he asked, he's asking is that is it enough that they are the surfaces are in different connected component for the curves to be uh, non? Uh, you need the different fundamental group actually. Yeah. Right. It's not enough. You also need some other so, topological. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay, the goal. Okay. I just wanted to, to say for these two, I do that and so on. Okay. Okay. Anyway, let S be a surface. Uh, a surface S is said to be isogenous to a higher product of curves and say of a mixed type. <coughs> a finite group G and the two curves of genus GI equal G of CI 
bigger or equal than 2 such that S is isomorphic to the quotient C1 times C2 mod G where G has a free and diagonal on the back on the product C1 times C2 so remarks So first remark, S is uh, of general type with a S ample and uh, it's also minimal if you want. Uh, second remark, uh, all the numerical Invariants of S are computed uh, by the order of G, G1 and G2. Indeed, we have that chi of S is equal to G1 minus 1. That's G2 <coughs> minus 1 divided by the order of G, then uh, C of S squared, which is KS squared, is equal to A times K of S, and C2 of S, which is the other number of S, is 4 times K of S. And third, the regularity, so the irregularity. The regularity of the surface Q of S is equal to the genus of the floor of the C1 of G plus the portion of C2 of G. And in this talk, we consider only we consider only regular surface. Like surface means that Q is equal to zero and we have the following picture. So we have C1 times C2 and we have the quotient which is an entire cover <coughs> C1 times C2 mod G and then we have two projections to P1 and to P1 here and here maybe we have a projection C1 and we have a covering C2 and we have another covering here. So uh, yes. So we, we will need this because we will construct we will construct our surface S using these two this two ramified covering. So now the diagonal against the direct on C1 and the direct on C2. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So in the even in this case, there is a more uh, general definition for, for, for this. this, good, this yeah. Yeah. And the action does not exchange the part. Yes. In the problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this that is the, the yeah. But I think it could be more general to definition, but we don't need. Okay. So, why choosing these surfaces? Because we know a lot about the modular spaces. Indeed, there is the following theorem. which motivated the study of these surfaces. says that if so let S be the surface as always the product then any 
other surface and such that with the same one fundamental group of S and second the same Euler number of S then is diffeomorphic to S and moreover the modular spaces of S the modular space of S and here the one uh, consists of one or two components, connected components. And in the last case, the two components are exchanged. <coughs> so our theorem is the following. So if S uh, if S1 and S2 are surfaces as origins of a product uh, with, say, 2K as <coughs> very ample and the Euler number of S1 is the same as the Euler number of S2, but the fundamental group of S1 is not as much to the fundamental group of S2, then the corresponding the corresponding uh, generic non-canonical um, branch curve for all m bigger than 2 are at the risky pair. Okay? So the theorem is this one. We have this. We don't have that. So these two surfaces are in two different connected components of the modular space of surface of general type. And more, we can prove that the corresponding uh, branch curves are at the risky pair. Okay, so just to see, for, uh, just to see uh, that that's the same that uh, B1 and call them B1 and B2 have the same combinatorial data, we can see that the degree of B. It depends only on the other number, uh, so it's uh, in this case. Uh, wait. Yeah. So the degree of B i is uh, fourteen times fourteen times c one square of of s. It's the same as one over s two because they have the same other number. And we said before that everything is fixed. So the number of nodes is 98 C1 squared S squared minus 117 C1 S squared plus C2 of S. And the third one is the number of cusps is 68 C1 squared of S. Okay, so the combinatorial data are the same, and to prove that uh, they um, that they are at the risky pairs, one has to uh, apply apply Kizil conjecture conjecture proved by Kizil. And here, one needs to be a little bit more precise to say what is the uh, M canonical branch curve. Because we have But 
from the idea, I think it's, it's clear. Okay, so um, good. So we have one and two in our strategy. Now we have to prove three, so to find a lot of x number. Okay, so these are the good candidates, but now we have to find a lot of them. And so we translate again the problem from algebraic geometry to some group theoretical problem. And you said that B1 and B2 have different pi 1 of the complement. Exactly, exactly. This is exactly what we prove. So, for step three, You suppose that they have the same fundamental group, and then you reconstruct the fundamental group of the two surfaces above, the above and under me, and you but see. The other can be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not easy. <laughs> I'm not saying that it is an easy group. So you start like this. You suppose that they have the same fundamental group, and then the Achillesian conjecture, you reconstruct the fundamental group of the two surfaces above, and you see that they must be isomorphic, and you get a confirmation. But it's. Uh, it's quite long and involved with the group. So to, to say that this, this, is a, this is a little bit an improvement of what Kulikov has done, because here we... What is the precise statement of PC? If the degree is at least 12, but what is the story? There is a post one cover branch there. Yes, so... Uh, uh, Naive, they said, is that uh, the branch determines the color. If the degree is, is at like least three. At least three. Okay. Yeah, this is the conjecture. Okay, so, so the idea here, uh, the idea is, uh, this is the conjecture, but I think then you proved it for... No, it was proved by, by cool. Yes, the, in a weaker version. There is one case where, uh, where it does not work. Okay, so, uh, so the idea is uh, to use the coverings, the coverings uh, CI to P1. Okay, so we have these two coverings, I1 and 2, and we want to use them. So, definition so, uh, fit that G be a finite group. And uh, V1 up to VH element G, we call them, uh, them a spherical system of generators <coughs> of G. And for short, we will always write SSG. If two things happen, the first one is that the V1 up to VH uh, <coughs> generates G, and the second one is that the product V1 times V2 times VH is equal to 1. So this corresponds to giving the monotony of the covering somehow. And we call AH. <coughs> The size, size of this guy P of P 
and the other person on the other hand this is all uh, call them M1 up to M H tau is called the tau is the tau of uh, T so size and type of an int and uh, so with this data, you can reconstruct a ramified covering of P1 branch in H points and the local uh, with the local multiplicity given by the M1 M. And uh, we need two of them. So what we need is that uh, so two. Yeah, because like the Galois cover group. Yes. Not just covers. Uh, two P1 and P2 SSG are said to be disjoint if the stabilizer of T1 intersects with the stabilizer of T2 is equal to 1, and this is the uh, group directional condition of free action. C1 and C2, and if you want to be precise, this guy is the union over all G and G of all J uh, from 1 to infinity and all uh, L from 1 to H1 of V1 uh, L to the J and then conjugate it with G. Okay. And at this point, you can define beta. Let G be a fine group and uh, a ramification structure uh, for G is a pair of type tau one and tau two and size. H1, H2 is a pair P1, T2 of this joint SSG with both type and size. Okay? So, uh, the point is that if one has a uh, ramification uh, structure, T1 and T2, one gets a surface as isogenous to product, and not only where all the numerical invariants of S are given simply by the order of G and the two types. Okay, this is simply 
Ius rimanuo di forma twice okay, you use Riemann Ulrich formula twice and you get the genus of the CI and then you go back for what we said okay uh, second, if you have S if S uh, is the surface as I know the product then one to S an equivalent plus of ramification structure where we say that T1 and T2 are equivalent to T1 prime and T2 prime if there is a whole move that brings T1, T2 in T1 prime, T2 prime. And where it moves, in this case, there is an action of the braid group of HI strings times the braid group of H2 strings times the automorphism in this case is really the direct product of these three of these three groups and moreover we say that S1 and S2 isogenous to a product are in the same connected component of M y x if the equivalent classes they are attached equivalent class is the same so in this case you can really uh, do everything combinatorial so you simply what do you do? you take a finite group g you fix the, the type of some size, and then you find all the orbits uh, under this group action. Each orbit will give you a different connected component of the surface of a surgeon of the product. Then you use uh, the theorem I stated before, and the generic unbranch have uh, um, other risky multiples. So now I have to tell you which are the surfaces we consider, and they are quite easy. So which are So which are the surfaces we consider? So let S be let S K be a surface as well as the product with group Z mod two to the K. Okay, then the branching type and types uh, of the ramification structure well they cannot be uh, anything else than a bunch of tools because all the elements are all the two so we have some tools here and some two here but how many so here we have uh, 2 to the k, k plus 1, and here we have 2 to the 4 plus 2 L minus k plus 1, where L you can choose any positive integers bigger or equal than 2 k. And uh, so you construct SK in this way, but many SKs in this way. The first thing that you prove, lemma, 
is that the two KS, K is the example. And to be safe, we need ask that K is sufficiently big. So we can apply our theorem now. And the second, and this is uh, the theorem of Lerner and myself 2016. So let I O X K Y K be the number of the method component of M Y K X to the K uh, containing regular. as above. Okay, so what which is the, this number? Uh, then there is an increasing sequence. An increasing sequence uh, uh, yk equal to a xk such that for all epsilon bigger or equal than zero epsilon ring, it also should hold. So I zero x k y k is bigger than y k to the y k to the one half plus epsilon. Okay, and this computes the proof of uh, of the epidemic. Thank you. Any questions? I think I, I missed how, so you use this ramification structure, and then how do you control the high one of the surface from here? Was that this? Ah, uh, no, no, no. It's the, I use this. So if S1 and N2 are isogenous to a product uh, are in the same connected components, if the equivalent classes of ramification structure are the same. So I can calculate all the orbits of, uh, of this ramification structure, and I can prove that if I choose this group, and if I choose this type, I find at least so many orbits. But so you are saying that they use, you are using more. Because you are saying that if they are in different connected components, then the fundamental group is different. Yes, because... Uh, because of Catanese. Yes. Ah, uh, this not, is the answer to my question. Not only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, uh, I knew the answer. That was the answer of your question. But the, the, the other point is uh, that once you fix this, you fix the other number. So you know that they are in different components because of different uh, orbits. So the only thing that can be different is the fundamental group. And can you give us some sense of what these, what the what the numbers are like? That you said oh, you, you, you no, it's very yes. No, no, they, they increase. Uh, yeah. Rather. But you're, you, we have defined it over over L the surface otherwise, but okay. Otherwise, they could be in different component with same fundamental group in different component exchanged by complex conjugation. No, because <laughs> they are defined over L. No, yeah, yeah. because we you use this ramification structure. And so this implies that they are defined over L, mm -hmm. so yes. this, uh, this cannot happen. Yeah, so but it would be interesting to find those examples where the, there is this correlation. This would lead to, would lead to yeah. arithmetic zeros to pairs. Yes, are also defined. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, so it's interesting. This. You can use this. Uh, can you try to use this example for Fabrizio? Yeah, there, yeah, this uh, is what we are trying to do now. So this is still a work in progress. So what, what, yeah. Yeah. What we plan to do is to uh, first to try to calculate these fundamental groups if possible. Because we know a little bit about the fundamental group above, and so maybe we can have some hint of what are the fundamental groups of the complement downstairs. And uh, second is to try to find this, uh, this arithmetic. What is the condition of the branch data? 
if they are uh, exchanged by complete conjugation? Yeah, you, uh, you have to reverse and uh, take the inverse of each. Okay. But it's an open two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they are defined in the way. Yeah. Okay. I didn't understand, I mean, what you mean, that there, there is an increase in sequence such that for every epsilon, this is greater than that. No, because, uh, so the... the, the no, I didn't understand the statement. So what I'm saying is... You mean that, starting from a certain k? No, 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 no. Uh, so, um, you don't have for all y. Okay. This inequality, you cannot have it for all y's, okay? Because you don't know which is the y um, of these surfaces. So you have to calculate them, and so you have an, a, 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 only a sequence. So it's it, okay, you have a sequence, but what does it mean that for every epsilon this is greater than... It's super exponential. Yeah. The growth is super exponential. It's something like y k to square root, root of y Yeah. It's not exponential, but, but uh, no. yes. <laughs> you said there was this other guy with the okay. faster okay. growth and more okay. singular. Yeah. Does he have a similar okay. method or completely different? That one. It's a different method. Okay. So the, the method he used trigonal curves. So you use okay. trigonal curves, and with trigonal curves you have only always one um, very similar so point, and you can do. Uh, so you have this uh, modular spaces of surfaces with many components. Exactly. But uh, do this component, uh, the closure of the component intersects? I don't think so. I, I, I think this is the, the digits of the very peculiar. No, no, yes. uh, we are con con And the boundary. Yeah, the boundary. In the singular, in the state of surfaces. So. Uh, Maybe it would be possible to find a, a, a common degeneration of the two of the Zaisky pairs, of the two curves in the Zaisky pairs. I don't know. Um, but it becomes singular. Yeah, 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 sure. I got it. Sure. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but. Uh, maybe in Greek. 